So what I'd like to do now is we are going to um, play with a look I call the braided bouffant. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you different forms of backcombing. At Living Proof, we call them topage. And I'm going to show you a uh, topage that really builds a structure. I'm going to show you topage that gives you luminous softness. And then I'm going to show you topage that actually works like a scaffolding to the hair. So if you're trying to hold something up, if you're trying to push it into more of a wave or a roller coaster shape, you can get that. And, and I'll share at the end. I have all these techniques listed with little gifts and little videos. They're called the SMART method. Okay, so what I want to do for the first uh, technique, I'm just going to show you a backcombing um, that gives you the absolute structure. I'm not going to do the whole head this way because I don't need that much structure for this because she has a nice set. But when you want hair to really just stand straight up when you want that beehive kind of shape the best way to get that is to use this topage with a comb that has slightly bigger teeth you can tell i've been playing with her this morning that has bigger teeth but not too big longer teeth and slightly far apart once you've got that i can now take a section just a tiny little section i'm going to show you hold the section up the teeth are up on the comb and then you push down. The teeth are up on the comb and then you push down. Up and down. And what you'll notice, like I'm climbing a ladder, oh, helps if I teach you not the wall. What you'll notice is every time I go up and down, I'm taking a new spot. What I don't want you doing is a bunch of at the same spot and then down. Because what will happen if you're doing that is you're making tangles and knots. And trust me, I've done some fashion shows where members of the team were just kind of tease, 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 and it just makes a tangled mess. And when I'm talking about giving this elevation, when I'm talking about giving this super strength to the hair, you can see what I'm talking about. I don't have to tease it all the way to here to get that. I, from a tiny little section, smaller than my comb even, I'm now able to pull it this way and this way in all directions and really make a kind of massive amount of volume from a very little bit of effort. So this is really the foundational. This is topage for foundation. And you'll know that you've done it correctly if when it comes time to remove it, that happens very easily for you. Look how easy that comes out. For as much height and structure and volume as it provided me, it's very easy to easily, easily remove it from the hair. So what am I going to do if I want to fill the hair a bit more? Well, this one's really fun too, because I think of anything I'm doing, I just want to keep it really angel soft. And so, for this, I've already gone ahead and made a horseshoe section. By the way, this is uh, this look, I don't know, it's kind of a bouffant meets uh, Brigitte Bardot. Um, I'm feeling these more voluminous silhouettes that are coming out right now, so um, we'll have some fun with it. But this is how we're going to create like really, really soft, relaxed texture in the hair. First of all, we're going to take slightly bigger sections because this time, we're using a brush. We're going to use a Mason Pearson style brush. And you know what? If you have a Mason Pearson, awesome. I tend to burn them and lose them at shows and all kinds of things. So I found these Denman brushes to be woo, lots of light. The Denman brushes to be really great as well. So just find one that you're comfortable with that is a combination of nylon and bore. Okay. So now this, I've got that larger section. I'm holding at the top again. And now this is more of a tickle to the hair. I call it a tickle and a toss. A tickle and a toss. So we're pushing down that hair and then we're pushing it back and out of the way. Some people might call this a lacing effect on the hair. But see how we were just able to kind of tickle through all that hair. And now when I go back to to smooth that, I'm not taking those big knots out. We don't see it in the hair. So I'm going to continue doing this. That's my first section. 
I'm going to take the next section and then we're pushing all around that base and toss. Push and toss back. Push and toss back. So now I've got this. I'll let it settle for just a little bit out of my way. But do you see the incredible volume I'm able to get here and build into this hair? And this is what I love. This to me is true styling and finishing. Okay, so now we're going to mix it up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and do the base of this and I'm going to change it. I'm going to use product to get the texture I want. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the entire bottom section of the hair and I want to build a little texture so this will give me a little grit that doesn't have any teasing, topaging, backcombing whatsoever. I'm just going to take, this is our uh, full dry volume and texture spray. It's really great for giving you that instant volume and texture simultaneously. All I'm going to do is just kind of spray that into the hair just to give me more grip as I'm working. And heck, let's put some underneath our little bouffant area. Doesn't take a lot and I'm getting that instant volume and texture. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush that through. Now that I've got the little molecules in there giving me that volume. Smoothing these ends some. And I don't want this to be teased because believe it or not, I'm going to braid this. What? Why would he braid it? Okay. I'm going to take two fingers up the middle. I call this my natural or organic braid. Those of you who've been watching me for the many years I've been doing shows around the country. I'm going to take, just put two fingers there and it gives me three equal sections, right? I've got hands everywhere, but these two fingers, the index and the middle finger are really giving me that center piece. Now these three sections, I'm going to start braiding like so. And I'm braiding, focusing that I want this hair to really be center focused at all time. And by center, I mean center of the section. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep braiding and I'm going to allow the ends. I'll bring this really, really close to you. I'm going to allow those ends to reverse braid. I'm going to really get extreme close up here. So every action I'm making here, you see there's a little reaction on those ends. And when I can't go any further, I'm going to loop and like a little fish tail right through and that closes my braid. What didn't I need? I didn't need an elastic. I didn't need a rubber, rubber band. I didn't need any of that because this is doing it for me. Now I really do feel like I'm working on a model at Fashion Week. She's, my mannequin is getting so tall here. <laughs> okay, so now what I'm going to do is I want to build a nice round shape volume here and I want it to work backward. To me that feels very Prada, it feels very elegant. So we want this working backward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm just going to comb free this end because we've got that nice texture in there already. That is combed nice and free. And now I'm just going to take from the very center of this section, I'm going to take very few hairs. Don't take like a hundred hairs, take like five hairs. And I'm going to give it a little pull. I'm going to take a few more hairs and I'm going to give it a little pull. And you can see it's starting to make that round little shape underneath. Taking and giving it a little pull. You can just take sections and continue to do this and it becomes almost foundational. So now we don't need as many pins to hold that up. Up, right up the center there, taking a very large pen. Ooh. And then I'm going to take that pen up and then down. So now we've got that all held in there. I'm able to really kind of check the silhouette. Is it sexy? Is it soft? Is it sexy and soft on both sides? Yeah. And I think that's what makes it so real is you don't have to really obsess about is it even it feels much sexier and softer. Okay, so now I'm just going to add a couple more pins to secure it into place. Like so. We don't want that coming out. 
And for that, I'll just use your normal bob pins. And I like to go into that braid away and then push it down. So we've got a nice strong hold there. Okay, so this I'm going to leave very soft and let it play into the other hair because I call these the little happy accidents. I absolutely love when those happen. Take this hair and gently smooth it and start pulling the front sections that were layered using something I call the wine bottle fringe. And I want you to see how we're not stuck in there, right? I don't see her scalp and I don't see hairspray right? It doesn't look stiff. It doesn't look sticky. And whatever way I want to shape it, it's doing that very, very easily for me, giving me that very elegant, sophisticated look. Now we've got nice volume there. Now we just need to decide what do we want to do with the rest of the hair. So for me, I'm just going to take that, push it into that braid, right? doesn't really need much more. And then I'm just going to take little hairpins, right? It's kind of like a little bit of a bob as well. Just giving me that really beautiful balanced round shape. And I never like obsess with the first couple pins. Also, what have I not used yet to hold this? There is a time and a place. I have not used hairspray yet. Remember I talked about the scaffolding type um, movement of the hair? Well, now it's time for us to do that. So to do that, what we're going to do, and this I, I brushed it so much intentionally so you don't really see the wave. I'm going to bring that wave back magically. So I'm just going to take a section here. I'm going to hold it between these fingers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to back comb it in short bites and then push the hair as I work. So here, just short little bites, giving some support to that wave, pushing it into, right? I know many of you are familiar with doing this sort of technique with your flat irons. We're just sort of pushing in whichever direction you want that hair to go. So you can see how just doing that, I've got maximum direction of that hair. Then we smooth it out and over, this one, we could even do its own little thing, right? So taking it, knowing that it just needs a little lift, just needs a little support so that it's mixing into the shape. So I'm going to take the flex hairspray and I'm going to show you how now I can just do a little pinch, a little hold, and it's got that shape. It's holding the shape for me. And I can smooth and I can comb and I can work that into the rest and it's taking on the shape I desire. I don't need a heavy wave there. I just want it to softly blend into the rest. And then we can just give that little push. And then I always like to mess it up a little, right? If it's gonna be a salon look, she doesn't wanna to be too much of a helmet. By the way, how many pins to get this shape? I just have one. If it's the most important day of her life, yeah, go ahead, put like a few more or 10 more, or 100 more. It's really up to you. But when pinning the hair, make sure that you don't get so pin happy that you're actually changing the shape. Now what I'm gonna do, and this is why it's my favorite, I'm gonna take a little bit of that instant defrizzer. It's gonna kill those little flyaways. So it's giving me that Naha kind of finish, giving me that sleekness, just a little something to go on at the very, very end. Okay, I'll use my last little pin here to just go in, take away any flyaways that might be happening, and bada bing, bada boom, we'll call it a day. Okay, all right, so to me, this is a really cool shape. It feels bouffanty, simple to do, a horseshoe section in the crown, a simple little uh, three strand braid in the back. Um, a, a simple little horseshoe that is topaged and then just has a great finished look. All right, you get the picture. I have a lot of things that I want to show you today. Hopefully you like this one.